like, you're coming on this blitz here. And I go, who made the tackle on this play? Right. Like, where'd he come from? Well, don't worry, there's the blur. Yeah, yeah there, there it is. is. He knew he was coming. Just this max effort right here. Snap to Hodges, quick throw to the right, flat to Johnson, caught to the 20, and Pat P whiffed on a tackle. Johnson reverses field. He's loose on the far side of the 20, and the 15 cuts right to the 10 to the 5, and tackled at the two-yard line by Baker, a touchdown-saving tackle. To go make this play. I mean, it shows up so often, Buddha. Like, when this back comes out of the, out of the backfield right here, Buddha, what's it, what's it telling you right now when they go to, like, basically this... It's a four-man side. Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, it's it's a it's a blitz, so it's an A-gap blitz for me. And once he goes empty, I know, you know, I can't be late, so I I gotta try and hit it. And uh, you know, they 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 blocked it up, and I just had to hustle to the ball. Once you see it's released, now it's just turn and run. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's what you know they teach our D-line. And once once they throw the screen, that's all about the D-line pursuit. And once I'm blitzing the A-gap, you know, I'm a part of the D-line, yeah. so. I'm just trying to, um, you know, contribute and run to the ball like they should, like they are. So it's no big. I mean, you just feel like you're just like to me. It looks like the blur. Yeah. <laughs> but like to you, this is my assignment. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Just running to the ball. So here's another, you know, just, just total effort play right here, Buddha. I'm just doubling back right now. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's unreal. So tell me about this one, yeah. because obviously this was your guy. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And so, so tell me just what you're reading, what you're seeing. Throughout this whole game, we've been running um, like a like a zone kind of. So right when that tight end would block or receiver would block, I would have the free to, to blitz. You like know, green dog. Shoot it. Yeah, exactly. Green dog. So this is kind of along the same thing, but it's man. I seen him block out, so I'm just trying to hit my hole. But mm -hmm. he did. It was a great play. He just. Didn't even really block him and just went out for a pass. So, you know, right here, I just had to realize he, he's gone and I had to go chase him down. Okay. Watch the safety. He's got his eyes where they should be in the backfield. His responsibility, whoops, is the tight end. So what are you supposed to do here? I mean, are you supposed to just stay on him then? Like, yeah. hey, he's my guy. Forget about everything yeah. else. Stay on him. Or yeah. what's the coaching point here? Yeah. So uh, um, after this after this game, you know, team started trying to hit us on this because we never got this Copycat, before. Right? Yeah. So um, their their instructions were to just get a little deeper, and you know, the deeper you get, the more you'll be able to see better if he's mm -hmm. gonna you know stay on him or if he's gonna right. You know, so really you still have pass. a chance to kind of hit it. Of course. But it just gives you more time to react as you're hitting it. Oh, maybe he's not. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Because right. you know the running backs usually sit around seven yards and mm -hmm. so if I stay at about seven okay if we're you, both running to the line of scrimmage we'll meet you know right. at the at the line of scrimmage okay. so gotcha. their instructions were to just get a little deeper I like okay it. I mean something so, so simple right yeah, but like exactly. so effective though yes yeah, yeah talk to me about this because this was this your guy originally no -uh. so no. I'm, in, I'm in the I'm in the crease and I'm telling my corner you know mm -hmm. uh, they're not really gonna run power to number seven so I'm telling him like right on that motion something's up yeah so I'm like like just right. go take him just just yeah. try to make a play because okay. honestly 59 that that will linebacker up top yeah. he has seven now that he motion he'll see him and then right by that time it's too late he's trying to work underneath he should probably be trying to work over oh, the top. top. Right. Yeah. Tayson oh, Hill, yeah, Tayson yeah, 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 Hill, he's 4-4 yeah. runners. Yeah, four, yeah. Four, big four, guy, too. Yeah, speed. So I knew something was up right when he motioned to a, a power. But, I mean, I kind of just seen and I just <laughs> took off for it. But you didn't just take off. I, I'm looking at your angle, and I felt like you just saved yeah. a touchdown. Yeah. Your ability to, you recognize this and knew something was up, but you see 59, as you mentioned. I mean, you're seeing him go under to know I'm going over. And, I mean, we're talking a half a second. But that's Reaction. what fascinates yeah. me is the ability to recognize and see so much in such a, you know, minute period of time is what separates the greatest athletes in the world from everyone else. How much tackling stuff do you, do you guys do now with, with all the new yeah. rules and, and, you know, playing back there at the free safety and hitting guys that are... You know, yeah. how much do you guys get to practice on that now? Because it's yeah. it's so different than it was just a few years ago. Yeah, not, it's not much. You no. know, uh, we're we're, rare, we're never tackling at all. We just 
you know, we tackle the bag a lot, and uh, maybe one times a week, that's when we uh, yeah. get our opportunities to try and tackle. If anybody wants to learn how to tackle, watch number 32 for the Arizona Cardinals. Buda Baker will teach you how to tackle. Two minutes into the first quarter, no score. Buda Baker makes a nice backside tackle. He's going to the Pro Bowl as a safety. He's been to the Pro Bowl as a special teamer. The loss of about three at the 18-yard line. Keep going. Let's go. Ooh. One arm! One arm! What I'm looking at here, like, you're not the biggest safety. Nah, not at all. But you hit as hard as any safety. Like, where does that come from? Yeah, I mean, my whole life I've always been on the littler side, um, but I've always learned how to take care of my body at a young age. I also see that you don't hesitate. Got a crease of the 40, up to 45, and slam down there. Dumps it off near side, caught by Homer at the 30. He gets tattooed at the 32 by Baker. When you shoot, you shoot. Right, right. Yeah. You're coming, and you're giving everything. Where a lot of guys will you know, try to get down there and break down and try to get... You're going, yeah. and you do a great job of being able to, even if it's a shoestring, right? Yeah. Of pulling them down with that shoestring because you're giving it everything. I always try to test no fear. You can yeah. never have fear, especially no. being my size. Right? If you have fear, you're going to get, you know, ran over. So yeah. you can't have fear. You know, in college uh, with Chris Peterson, we, we did a lot of uh, rugby watching film. And they use. Rugby a, watching? Yeah, yeah. So they use a lot of their shoulder. Um, take the head out of it? Yeah, they take the head out of the game. And that's what I try to do when I, when I make a tackle. I mean, I just saw this, I'm like, <laughs> like that's reckless, abandoned yeah. right there. Are you a transformation guy? Like, yeah, you're so calm, so. relaxed right yeah. here, easy going, but when on the field, are you a different? Yeah, yeah. Or a baker? Yeah, exactly. I think so. I think I'm a calm guy. And then on the football field, my mentality is during the game, I just. That's when I see a guy like that, I'm like, this guy's just having fun, man. That's Palomalo like right there. This guy. He really is something. I mean, he's not the biggest guy, but he is a downhill physical safety. He loves to, he loves the contact. See him right there coming right off the edge hard. He's been in the backfield a few times tonight making plays. Like, here you are just in the box, right? So this right here is a C gap blitz. And the way the tight end kind of went down, I kind of just try to stay skinny on him and you know the two two other guys coming at me. I was gonna say how good do you feel when, when both guys miss <laughs> you? Exactly. You got two guys pulling yeah. right in front of you and they exactly. both they both miss you. Yeah that that would I think uh test to just how skinny I stayed kind of to the tight end. They didn't kind of really see me. Huh. But here's your example of what rugby did, watch yeah. the rugby, right? Because yeah. you don't have to put your head in there. Exactly. It's like it's but you both but you get both arms wrapped up you take Coleman down. Yeah. No matter where you're coming from or what position you're in, like right here, it always seems like you get square. Yeah. You get square to make the tackle. Yeah. Like it's a fundamental of yours. Yeah, every time. To take a guy down. Like, I, I mean, I just don't see, especially defensive backs, I just don't see it. I see guys throwing their bodies in there, just diving, just trying to take their legs out. What do you feel like your strength is, though? I mean, I always wonder that. Like, yeah. do you feel like you're equally as good back in space as you are up at the line of scrimmage. You feel like that's your strength, yeah. attacking at the line of scrimmage. What, yeah. what do you think you I mean, I, honestly, I feel like I'm, be I'm, I'm best at both. You know, okay. I, I pride myself on, uh, you know, being able to do whatever, being able to be versatile. I like playing both. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like being just at free or just at strong because I feel like offenses can, you know, can tell where you're going to be at easier. Yeah. So this first play, it's not even a play, but it's yeah. just a reaction. <laughs> yeah. And I and like I posted it, yeah. you saw it, right? But like I saw this, Kurt, and I go, this is like freaky athletic ability. Like who gets up off the ground the way Buddha does here? That's all through the tape, right? <laughs> yeah. That's your signature. Yeah, yeah, that's a signature. You okay. know, I bring it out sometimes. Yeah. Not much, but sometimes gotta bring it out. But it's like it shows you like, I don't know, it shows it shows me something, like the explosion, yeah. like the, the pop that you have. Like you just come up off yeah. the ground. Yeah. Like exactly. a cobra. Yeah. Like you exactly. just strike. You didn't even go to the the way he played the route. You're just worried about him. No, I just wanted to see. I just want to see how you see how he turned and he spun all the way all right, around and knocked the ball away. Let's let, let's go the whole route. There. I, I, I mean I was it. impressed by that too, yeah, Baldy, yeah. but I I mean I like the play first. <laughs>
Tell me this coverage though. I, I was looking through this and it's almost just like five across here. Is this yeah. just like a, it's a long yarded situation? So you guys are all playing deep? Yep. Yeah, I mean, kind of got... yeah, kind of like that. And um, our corners on the outside are kind of in man, and uh, the guys on the inside are kind of working. So yeah. I actually have T. Brock over top of me. So if I just stayed a little bit more flat-footed, I feel like I could have made a better play on the ball. Okay. But um, I just love it. Got to all the way turned yeah. and spun yep. back and still made the play. When you play in that deep middle where it's really just Everybody else is man, and I'm I'm free to go go attack the football. Yeah. What's what's keys for you? Yeah, I mean, there's all different types of keys, but um, in this certain case, um, yeah, I'm in, I'm just in a post. I'm a post player, yep. and I'm just you know trying to read the offense, read what they're trying to do. Yep. You know, I like to I like to read the splits of uh, the ones, mm, and okay. then read the splits of the twos as well. And sometimes I don't I don't just standing in the middle of the field I'm always trying to pick a side and uh, pick dictate which way the quarterback is going to throw the ball so they split out their other tight end and when you split out the slot. other tight end this, our safeties have to you know go out wide okay. and keep 85 you know in the box knowing that he'll have a, a, a linebacker to cover him I mean that's what a lot of guys like to do a lot of offenses it's good it's smart um, mm -hmm. they're trying to get their best guys on a linebacker. on linebackers me being the post player, I try to lean on that at, on that hash, try to make him throw it the opposite way. But he threw it this way, and I got a nice PBU. What's the game like, Buddha, with you and the quarterback? Because it looks like Garoppolo isn't trying to look you off. No. Here. It looks like he's looking to kittle right away. Yeah, but Garoppolo, that's his guy. He's going to throw it to him. And, you know, nine times out of ten, uh, it's a, a, a catch. There's certain plays where I look off a safety, yeah. and there's certain plays where I don't care where the safety is. Right. So with Buddha in the middle of the field here, when I've got this particular route, the flat hook He's corner, I'm not worried about Buddha at all. Right. He should not make this play. If I make a good throw here, right. Jimmy throws it with a little more velocity here. Are you to the point in your development where you can start messing with quarterbacks? Yeah. Like, you know, you're going, okay, I, I think they're gonna throw to the left, so I'm gonna go on the left hash. Have you gotten to the point where it's like, I'm gonna lean a little bit to the right hash, Yeah. but yeah. I know I'm gonna come screaming to the left hash mm -hmm. as soon as, it, because I know they're gonna throw it to Kittle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I try to sometimes, but um, we haven't really got a lot of deep balls this past year. It was a lot of like overs and digs, and uh -huh. for, for post playing safety, you don't really wanna jump that until the ball's there. So yeah. hopefully I'll, I'll get to that point. You know, I'm gonna be watching on film on all the greats and trying to get to that point.